One of the things I've learned as I've engaged in this exploration of evil is that it cannot bear the process of thoughtful self-reflection. Evil cannot bear to see itself. And so there it exerts great resistance to thoughtful, critical, self-reflective thinking. And this is in according to me, this is according to the experts, experts such as Scott Peck and Eric Fromm, who assert that the reason we don't think more about evil and the, more, and the reason we don't know more about evil is because evil resists being studied. Therefore, science has left it to the realm of the church because we are the professionals when it comes to seeing, sensing, and it's discerning that which is invisible. For me, this is hugely important and it's also unsettling. For me, it is also a call to slow down, pay attention to what is happening around me and within me. It's important that I notice and that we notice how we react, how we respond, and how we involve ourselves what, with what is happening in the world around us. The last thing I want to do is to get up, get caught up in any kind of energy or action which causes harm to any other living being. Friends, that's a huge challenge. Reminds me of the God-given advice from the Old Testament. I set before you the ways of life and the ways of death. Choose life is God's advice. Deuteronomy 30, 19. If only it were that simple. The only way I know to accomplish that is to move slowly, carefully, reflectively, 